this. Hey there, Acolytes. Acolytes. You wanna get more involved in my community than just watching my feeds? Well, I have a Discord server. <laughs> Been around for a few years, don't forget about that, don't worry. It's all there for your meme and banter pleasure for all the edgy memes and anime thighs. Lots of anime thighs and boobs. You can get all, up to all kinds of things in this uh, tasty server, all kinds, but not everything. We do have all, so we even join and let the banter commence. Oh, and speaking of the community, don't forget my, to join my subreddit too. Make a meme out of me or anything and I'll check it out. All these links are in the description. See ya! I hope you aren't afraid of the dark or things that go bump in the night. Or something far more terrifying. This series is going to give an inside look at all the haunted and dark places in the world. Could be a castle. Could be a forest. Could be your own home. It's only what your fears decide and where your soul resides. Welcome to Ghostly Habitations. In Derbyshire, on the hills of Bolsover, sits Bolsover Castle itself. Towering above the town of both Bolsover itself. The Simpsons already did that, I believe. Originally built in the 12th century by the Perville family, who were barons favoured by William the Conqueror himself, especially William Purple, as he was greatly honoured and legit received over 100 manors. This is fact, by the way. Like, how many places do you want to stay to? Do you want to choose a nice sunny manor down in Cornwall? Or overlook a busy town of Coventry? Pick your holiday! It eventually became Crown property in 1155, when William died and it was given to the Ferriers, who were Elves of Derby at the time, and William didn't have any male heirs or relatives, planning to hand the land over. Only women? Being a women in those times? Yeah, yeah, not, uh, not good. Now, this is where it all gets a little bit political, as it usually does with castles owned by barons, and trying to get in favour of the king and fighting over it, and it really gets chaotic. A group of barons, Henry, Henry's second sons of Prince Richard, who later became Richard the Lionheart, you know, one of the great English kings who was actually from France and hated living here. Actually, I kind of agree with him considering what's happening at the moment. So they basically revolt against the King's Rule, which was the revolt of 1173 to 74, and ended as a massive dud. Well, better luck next time. More wacky medieval politics followed, that included the loss of being a crown property before being returned in 1223. Later, as the years gone by, Bolsa was then passed to the Cavadices, mainly Sir Charles Cavadice himself, who then proceeded to totally spank the whole place up and rebuilt over the old remains. Clearly he wanted to live in style, and the style he did as he wanted to be a place of relaxation instead of another fort to fend off invaders. The building was further continued by his two sons William and John, who were influenced by Italian-inspired architecture of Ingio Jones. William himself later took the castle as his own and had a load of sexy parties. Basically that, but much more darker with 1600 style outfits. Yes, William threw more rages than Boris has ever had done, and it usually ended at big orgies. Lots, and lots of them. And no doubt will stir up some supernatural presences there, cause orgies. Yeah, anyway, the castle was also involved in the English Civil War. In 2017, Bolsover was voted the most haunted site by staff and is on many must protect lists and is listed as a monument in the UK. Don't forget, it may have history, but Bolsover also has its spooky tales to share. Bolsover itself isn't called the satanic capital of the UK after all, and the castle itself is built on ancient ground and the devil himself has visited it. The legend states that the devil was in Bolsover one day and wanted to get his hooves shooed by the local blacksmith, as you do. Imagine walking in the village that day and the devil saying hi to you. Things went sour though as the local blacksmith drove a nail into the soft part of the devil's hoof. The devil himself took off in a hift of rage. And as Chesterfield was in his way, with all his force he gave it a strong kick. And that's why the spire remains twisted to this day. It may not be true this legend or may not be. But, good architecture on the spire, that it looks quite cool actually. 
Muff voices and slamming doors can be heard while walking in the dark halls. Security guards have even reported explained lights floating around the area. Screams have been heard for those to bust to see where it come from and nothing was there. William Cowardice's spirit has also been reported seen wandering below his former beloved home. Love it so much you want to stay. A ghost of a boy has been seen and known to touch and hold the hands of visitors without them realising. A ghostly figure of a woman in the kitchen carrying what appeared to be a baby has also reportedly been seen. The infamous pagan room also resides in the castle. If you lie down and utter the words, sleep no more, you will cease to live and die. William Pebble was known for his supposed devil worship and had many parties. Later, William Countess carried on this legacy to further, further soak this room and castle in supernatural activity. The star room also contains heavy hadistic feelings of the parties that were there and the sense of pleasure and indulgence also has been felt in the room. They had some fun times in there, didn't they? Hee <laughs> hee! A ghost of a lady in the ball grown and a cavalier style gentleman have also been seen there too. Now this is where we get into a certain team's investigation. So yes, this brings up the most haunted team in their live event here on the 4th night in 2017 for their inverted pentagram event. Five locations will create, map out, a giant inverted pentagram across the whole country. How are you feeling tonight, Levert, and how are the team? And how is Jeff, more importantly, our cameraman who got that horrible spectral yank last night? So, the reason this section is called Most Blunders, remember the pagan room where you utter the words sleep no more and you die? Well, they seem to do this. Pagan room. There is a myth that if you lay on the floor and say the words sleep no more, you will die. Contrary to popular belief, it's very rare that you and I lie down next to each other. Okay, when you're settled, I'll count to three, and then if you say the words, sleep no more, yep. together. Come One, on. two, three. Sleep, sleep no more. Yeah, they completely ruined the myth of the whole place. It's got most haunted, not myth busters. You hunt ghosts and see if the place is haunted. Not to see if jelly dummies can whisk down a crass or freezing your tongues to pulse works. Also, ain't the first time they do these type of fuck ups. There's several occasions where they have done this. 30 East Drive being a huge one where they may have faked evidence. We come into this, this lower space, it's the sounds of the house are, are you know, of enjoyment and of pleasure. Well, at least I had David Wells in this life. Out of all the mediums they had, he was the most liked. Del Cacor got possessed most of the time. Mary loves dick. Mary loves dick. So, this ends our straw at Bolsover Castle. We'll be pulling away from this majestic but dark castle in the town of Bolsover, and soon we're going over places filled with history going back centuries. And many spirits, good and bad, waiting to say hello. See you next time on Ghostly Habitations. Happy haunts. Hey, 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 hey. Subscribing and liking the vids does go a long way on the channel. But what, what if you want to support me even further? And I have something for you, acolytes. I have a Patreon with four tiers going up to £30 is the max, so easily affordable. And if you want to go a step further. Subscribing to my Patreon will give you many special benefits like early access to my videos and behind the scenes content. So... You are getting many gifts in return for supporting me and the channel. So the link is in the description and thank you for helping me in the long run. <laughs>